Hey what's up guys welcome back to our channel technology so today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install WHM panel on AWS console management console so you just need to follow me so first of all you need to log in on your AWS management console and after that click on this services uh, button over there so you have to click over there and click on EC2 after that from the left side corner you have to click on instances and now you have to click on this launch instances after that you have to select this AWS marketplace from the left side corner and search over there send to voice okay and click on enter and you will get a lots of version of uh, send to so I will choose this send to us uh, 7 so you have to click on select after then click on continue and then make sure that you have selected this uh, T2 micro free tire so after done you have to click on this uh, next and configure instances details from here and click on add storage and after that click on add tags now you can put any tag name over there like in my case I am putting here technology and value I will put here web hosting okay so after that you have to click on configure security groups so now you have to forward few port from your VPS so what you have to do you need to click on this add role and after that you have to select here HTTP and from the from the source you have to select anywhere and add rule again and click on HTTPS uh, HTTPS and after that select anywhere and again add rule and select here now select here custom TCP rule and from here you have to put the custom port is called a uh, 2087 and source select you have to select the source is anywhere again you have to select one custom TCP port and port should be uh, 2083 okay and from here you have to select anywhere and after that click on review and launch now click on launch so after that you have to create a new pair over there so the key pair name is I will choose here Amazon web hosting okay and click on download key pair after that launch instances now it will take some now it will take some time to uh, load your uh, instances so you have to wait so just go to the EC2 and then instances as you can see it is showing initializing so you have to wait so now what you have to do you need to open putty zen on your computer so I have already downloaded and installed this putty so now click on load button over there and you have to select that uh, that Amazon uh, web hosting dot pem file. So here is a here is a file. Okay. So now click on save private key. And click on yes. I will put any name over there. In my case, I'm putting here web hosting. And click on save so it's done so after your GoS get installed you have to uh, just go to uh, putty and you have to copy this uh, IP address this VPS IP address so you can copy this IP address from here or you can directly copy this public DNS okay and open the putty and you have to paste over there and just ex expand this SSH and click on auth and after that click on browse and now we have to select that pvk file after that go to the session and click on open now the you have to log in as a uh, center you have to type over there to centers and now you have to click on enter so it's done so now you have to set a root password so the command is sudo and then passwd and press enter from your keyboard now you can set any password here so it's done so now I am logging from root so su the command is su root and then password which I have already set so so as you can see I am logging from root as so it's showing over there so now you have to put this command is called m update 
Now press enter from your keyboard. Now it will take some time. Press Y and then enter. Press Y again, press enter. So after done, you have to install yum or uh, install widget. And then yum install tall pearl. So I will give you all this command on my video description. So here's the, all the command as you can see. So you have to install one by one. So now install nano. So put here em install nano. So done. So after done, you have to set your host name. So just put over there host name uh, host name ctl set host name, and then you can put any host name over there. In my case, I'm putting here test dot uh, gadget jet box dot in. Okay. And after that press enter so now it's done so now you have to put this command to download a uh, cpanel and after that put this sh latest now press enter so now it will take some time so you have to wait for a uh, few minutes
So after installation done, you have to just copy your IP address from here and you have to paste it on your browser and before the IP address you have to put here HTTPS and you have to remove this and you have to put here 2087 and after that click on this advanced option and after that click on process to this website and now you have to put the username and password so you have to put your root username and root password over there and click on login now click on agree to all and you can put here any any of your email id in my case i'm putting here my uh, email id is 606 and after that you can put here your name server and click on finish so here is my uh, web hosting panel so if you want to uh, for your client you have to put here 2083 and so I'm going to create one username so create a new account domain name you can put any domain name over there so dot test test dot com okay and username is same password and you can put any email id over there test the date at the date dot com now click on create so as you can see account is successfully created so just go to your C panel and just put your username over there and password which I have already created over there so as you can see it's login successfully so I hope this small video will really help for you and if you need more videos on this topic then let me know in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next one next video take care